Septic tank problems, effectiveness, viruses and bacteria in the septic tank. The issue mentioned above is analogous to a combination of the following inquiries. Does septic tank yeast produce viruses and bacteria? Is septic tank treatment effective? What are bacteria and viruses in a septic tank? Do bacteria and viruses aid in the decomposition of the septic tank? If there are no viruses, why can septic tanks transmit diseases? Does the sump treatment additive harm the pipes and concrete of the tank? And does it affect the soil and groundwater? Groundwater? All will be addressed and explained below. Additives for treating septic tanks for the environment and home structure. Enzymes are truly effective when they consist of a combination of chemicals that do not harm water pipes, concrete, and contaminate groundwater. The process of dissolving septic tank treatment additives into water can be divided into several stages. The final stage yields residues from the chemical reaction. These residues will enter groundwater and subsequently damage the groundwater system. What constitutes a truly effective septic tank additive? Thus, the phosphate breaking additive must be a chemical that only decomposes organic matter and some inorganic substances in the tank, without damaging the concrete and pipes. Residues after the reaction process must be non-toxic to the soil and groundwater environment. It's important to note that septic tank additives do not create viruses or bacteria. The theory of bacteria and viruses was conceived by Western medicine to control the mind and promote medicine sales. Viruses and bacteria do not actually exist. Please refer to the next section. Septic tank additives and pathogenic bacteria and viruses. Essentially, a virus is an electromagnetic signal, a form of information similar to a computer, a malicious code that affects the metabolism of biological cells. In the septic tank, water stores information in the form of electromagnetic signals. This can lead to illness depending on the timing and is transmitted through the stool of an infected person using the toilet. Hence, septic tank yeast is considered beneficial when it eliminates this harmful signal. Enzymes for treating septic tanks, which involve very potent chemicals in terms of solid decomposition, have an immediate effect by aerating and cleaning the septic tank. However, in the long run, the technical structure of the standard septic tank holds greater significance. Even if the septic tank complies with technical standards and operates without clogs for an extended period, for those who believe in the virus theory, it remains merely an electromagnetic signal containing information that affects the cell metabolism exchange process. They would employ a signal reducer, which they label as the virus, for this purpose. The virus does not exist, it is an electromagnetic signal stored in the water. You can verify this by researching memory of water and DNA teleportation. This discovery was made by Luc Montagnier, who won the Nobel Prize in 2009. Despite formulating a theory about viruses, he was compelled to conform to his superior's directives. He was prohibited from revealing the actual nature of the virus. In 2009, Montagnier and his collaborators published a paper titled Electromagnetic Signals are Produced by Aqueous Nanostructures Derived from Bacterial DNA Sequences, wherein they documented that bacterial DNA can generate an electromagnetic signal, EMS, transferred through the cell culture medium. Conclusion The utilization of septic tank additives is deemed unfavorable due to scientific findings. Septic additives do not create bacteria or viruses to break down organic matter. There is no substantiated evidence that bacteria are responsible for decomposition. Moreover, environmental pollution, including soil and groundwater pollution, is also highlighted as a subsequent concern. The issue of viruses and bacteria, in actuality, does not hold validity. Consequently, very few individuals possess knowledge about it. The suppression of the signal, labeled as a virus, which contains detrimental information leading to illnesses, necessitates special additives. This discovery has been made by scientists outside of academia who do not conform to dogma, unlike those within the scientific establishment driven by technological monopolies. As a result, research on tablets is adequate for eliminating the so-called bacteria and viruses in the septic tank. Additionally, the decomposition of organic solids within the tank can be accomplished within a one-month period, without causing environmental pollution.